Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemies have stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So thank you for coming back to watch the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. For a group out there, you are being warned that London Bridge is falling. So whatever it is you've been committing yourself to, these rituals and blocking people, people's options and things like that, causing illusions about people's character, or trying to prevent them from being able to move on, trying to block people's uh, happiness and things like that. A Queen of Cups, Empress Energy that is in the upright. You all have been out here trying to block someone's forward movement because you want some type of offer to be given to another person. There's a man in a relationship with a Queen of Wands in the reverse. They are trying to force him to either stay with this woman, keep this relationship going because there is some type of financial benefit of these two people, of these two people being together. I don't know how else to put that. So they've been trying to manipulate him and force him into staying, staying committed to this relationship and try to see it as wish fulfillment, even though he knows this woman is non-committal. OK, uh, there may be something going on with a child is that this woman and this man are in a relationship or she has a lover, maybe a couple of other lovers on the side. And there's something going on with a child in this relationship that people need to look at. The child may not be doing well and they need to look at the mother as well. Or there's some type of guardianship issue that's going on the welfare of the child. It needs to be looked into. The mother knows something that she may not be saying. There's like a mother out here. She's more so concerned about how she looks, what's going on on social media, instead of paying attention to her child. So there's something going on with a child's health. Okay. You may us, yeah, she's more concerned with things that have nothing to do with this kid. Kid, okay. Someone is even into like dark magic rituals and things like that. Someone is very deceitful. There's some type of secret she's keeping that she's not telling you. If you are the one in a relationship with this woman, there's something she's not telling you about this child. I'm telling you, and I don't know if this is like a, a girl child or something, whatever this is. Um, the child could be a Leo. It does not matter. There's something going on with this child's health that you all need to look into, okay? You may have a Queen of Wands out here, Queen of Wands reverse that may want to communicate with you, collective member, um, to let you know of a plan or a plot that people have against you to cause you some type of ending, okay? And I don't know why this person will want to communicate with you because this is someone unstable. I don't think you're looking for a friendship from this kind of energy. You could be aware of this person. This person could be going through some type of heartbreak. Uh, maybe the masculine that she's in a relationship with, not her lover, maybe they're interested in working with you and maybe she wants to communicate some type of uh, deception to you so that you can move on, right, and reject this person from coming towards you so it can put an end to some type of abundance for you. Um, if you reject something, make sure that you have uh, another plan or something like that or just make sure your ducks are all lined up. Um, but there's something where a man wants to give to you so that you can come out of like. Be cautious because there are people behind the scenes trying to cause some type of stagnation for you. Like they want to deplete. They want to deplete your resources and have you out of here. There is an entire community of people that are going through some type of conflict behind the scenes. They're going through some type of ending. And this is karma playing out for these people. This is judgment by the spirit realm. All of these people are under some type of judgment. Whatever actions they've been taking behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement or to interfere with a union coming together, some type of commitment between two higher level soulmates. Um, these people are in some, under some type of judgment called by the universe and it's not going to get better anytime soon. Okay. Whatever still miss they've been causing will be removed. Things are kind of just being resolved at the moment. So there may be some type of waiting period. Both of you are going through for some of you. And for some of you, you and this person may not end up together. But the fact that you two met at some point or you've interacted in some type of way 
uh, has in, ignited some type of awakening in each of you. So now you may have the necessary tools to start or embark on your healing journey or your ascension, something like that. Okay. But they will like to deplete you of your resources. As I have said, your stability, they want you like having a pinch penny living from paycheck to paycheck out here. Um, and then they can come in and end you. Uh, it makes it easier when you're, when you have nothing to your name, maybe you're even homeless out on the street and things like that. Um, and you're, you know, starving and all of that. And then what they come in and take you out right? They want you out on the street begging. They don't want anything thriving for you. They want you going through a bunch of endings and things like that still mix, right? They want you going through heartbreaks and things like that, but you will get to move on and heal. You will have your abundance. You will always be secure. It's what the universe wants to tell you. You will have that happy family. Uh, and they want you to know that. And I think you do know that on an intuitive level that you are secure by the universe. You always will be abundant and fruitful with the three of cups out here in the high priestess. This means that you are someone uh, abundant, both physically and spiritually. Okay. Um, and there is some type of ace of pentacles that will be coming towards you. Someone was trying to force this to go to them, but they are being rejected so that you can have your new beginning. This is someone that's still determined to destroy you. You could be a king of cups that someone is out here trying to destroy. So thread with caution. Yeah, there's a there's a king of cups in the upright in a scenario and a king of cups reverse in a scenario. So be cautious. They may be sending one of the one of a masculine in a community to come towards you as a feminine to deceive you. And this is someone that is emotionally imbalanced and very manipulative. There is something they stand to gain. What I'm hearing is that whoever they're sending towards you is a lover of this queen of wands in the reverse. So do not accept any type of love offer because this is something they've been planning for a long time on how they can manipulate you and get you to move on and put an end to this chapter because they don't want you succeeding in any way, shape or form. So just thread with caution, who it is you receive any love offer from, okay? Because you are someone that's meant to be in a successful union. This woman and some friends behind the scenes, her family as well. There could be like a mother-daughter duo that do rituals behind the scenes and things like that. Um, they are extremely burdened about a masculine coming towards you. So maybe uh, on the surface, they're trying to stay calm and everything. But beneath the surface, um, they are absolutely bad as ish, acting crazy. Both of these women and everyone else involved in here are fighting behind the scenes and stalking you. Like all they do, like their whole world centers around you, basically. OK, um, this group is going to have to put an end to this whatever this is because it's coming with too many burdens it's a lot of self-sabotage a lot of refusing to see things from a higher perspective a lot of denial feeling to take accountabilities for the things that they've been doing it's just a little bit too much that's going on it's like someone saying someone is like saying this is not what i signed up for it's not it wasn't supposed to be this difficult it never should have gotten to this point so something has gone a lot farther than it should have and this is the god's honest truth something there is some type of clarity coming towards you a uh, divine being whether you're a masculine or feminine that's going to expose what someone was doing to you behind the scenes how they've been sneaking you stealing from you or trying to steal from you you absolutely are a queen of cups and you are in the clear a big yes from the universe to move on with your life and continue to heal and keep healing those around you and speaking your truth someone is seeing you as absolutely very intelligent very intellectual and just absolutely straightforward some people may find that to be a little offensive and those are people that are living in denial of reality those are people that like things to be sugar-coated okay but you may be really good with words, but you are in the upright and this is going to lead to some type of success. Like the way you use words has some type of healing aspect to it and it's going to lead to some type of abundance for you. I'm telling you, you're someone that's spiritually gifted, absolutely spiritually gifted, and you will be moving on while this group is out here fighting. This group will have to move on at some point. There is an emperor behind the scenes that could be going through some type of healing as well. You got a few masculines behind the scenes that may be watching you. A couple may be trying to I mean, like a couple of masculines in this uh, story, maybe trying to bring some type of balance into a situation. Nobody really knows who they are, um, but they're moving discreetly. And if I see what it is they're trying to do, which I think I intuitively know what they're trying to do to bring an end to this chapter, I'm not going to say it. Um, but something is about to get really crazy because there is an unhinged creature 
in this story that is just refusing to let go. You know how like sometimes when people tell really bad lies, like horrible lies, do a lot of manipulations and then the truth start coming out and they're still set on furthering the lies, furthering the narrative, or someone is told no and they don't like being told no. Some not, someone is not accustomed to being told no. Um, so they lose their mind and they start going buck wild crazy behind the scenes and things like that. That is what some, someone is doing. Like a feminine energy stands to lose everything. Like this could be a queen of pentacles that's about to lose everything out here. Um, and maybe this is something she did not see coming. I did warn a queen of pentacles. I've been warning this woman for a while on this platform that poverty is the road that lies ahead of you. And here she is. It is coming for her. Okay. What I'm getting about this queen of pentacles is that this is someone that abuses their power. They've been in some type of position for a long time. Or this is someone that is financially that's been financially financially stable for a long time, but has been misusing their finances to block other people's future. This could be her daughter. This could be her friend. But they've all been working together to block two people from coming together. This could be like a mother and daughter duo that's been working extremely hard to keep a masculine trap, doing a lot of mind manipulations to prevent him from seeing the truth about something. There could be something going on with a contract. If you as the masculine, you are watching this video, there's something about a contract that you may be in that you need to look over because there could be some type of detail you miss in this contract that could end up saving you. But what I'm hearing is that you are binded by some type of contract in a community and you're not able to leave until the contract is fulfilled. You may have someone that's trying to talk you into renewing your contract. You will be crazy if you do that. Uh, you need to take charge and try to see things from a higher perspective. Take charge of your life. Maybe even review that contract. There's something going on in there that maybe if you find out what it is or take it to like a advisor, like a, a, a lawyer or something so they can look into that contract. Maybe they'll find something that can free you from it. Okay. Um, yeah, you need to look into it. You definitely need to look into it. Um, I don't know if you're planning on doing some type of self-sacrifice by staying in a community uh, to just kind of keep the peace. There's something about your personality where it's like everything is like fearful. Yeah, you have a lot of anxiety and things like that. You live in fear. You don't know what's up ahead. So you tend to just stay stuck in uh, whatever situation it is you're in because you don't want to rock the boat. Okay, you're afraid to go through some type of dark night, night of the soul. You say what I have, I'm going to protect. So even if it's a little bit, you go out of your way to do a little bit too much to protect it. And then you end up missing out on new opportunities that could have been really abundant for you. You may have missed out on some type of Ten of Pentacles opportunity with another partner, another company or something like that. Because what well, you were too fearful to step out on faith. So you may have held back and now you are disappointed because what you decided to stay in a situation that has you now way down. And I don't know if there are people out here trying to steal from an emperor. Absolutely. Trying to steal from an emperor who's trying to take action to bring balance. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Trying to take action to bring balance into a situation because he's being practical and seeing things from a higher perspective. This could be an emperor that does things in the right way. Or maybe someone is just exhausted because something has been playing out for a lot longer than it should. So this could be like a high ranking official within an organization or a family, something like that. That is trying to kind of just move things on to calmer waters uh, and come together and bring some type of peace, manifest some type of new reality. There could be a queen of swords, queen of cups, energy. There a lot of these people have been watching, stalking and things like that. Um, also, what I'm getting is that there are this a king, queen of swords, a queen of cups. There's a few women in here that are absolutely burdened about someone balancing something out, someone separating themselves from a community in order to bring balance or clarity to someone else. Um, and because, and if he does this or she does this, whoever this is that's taking this initiative, it's going to cause some type of stalemate for these people. It's like they're trying to force something to be given to like a king of cups, queen of cups, or just someone else in a community that it does not belong to. Okay. But there's a king of cups in here. This is not someone that, um, I don't know if this is someone that's part of this shenanigans, or maybe he used to be a part of it and he's choosing to walk away and manifest a new, yeah. This man is trying to put an end to this. 
So, oh yeah, he's trying to put an end to this situation and is trying to make the decision to manifest a new reality for himself, right? Like a new family, embrace his uh intuitive side. So this is someone that's choosing to listen to their intuition right now so that he can manifest some type of new beginning for himself, okay? Um, but whoever this Queen of Wands reverse is, uh, a sister is about to go through some type of ending. Has a lot of court issues coming in. And I think I did mention that someone is going to end up in jail for something they've done. Some type of prison sentence. I don't know if she tried to steal from someone. Someone should, She should have taken some type of new path, but she tried to force something to be seen in a way that it's not. Like someone, it says someone meticulously trapped a masculine with her um and he didn't realize that that's what she was doing when she was doing it like she saw him he was wealthy well now he's disappointed and ashamed because of what's going on and she's going through some type of rejection or isolation like he does not want to be committed with her this will be one of the moments where he's like you know what if the kid is mine i'll take care of my kid but you and i are done i'm moving on but she's trying to force him to stay because, what well, he has a lot of money or something like that. Okay, this could be a king of wands kind of emperor or something like that. Um, this group is feeling rejected. There may be people in here that feel embarrassed um, for whatever it is they've been partaking in. And again, they've done nothing but cause endings and burdens for themselves. And they're going to have to figure out how to make it to the finish line with all of those setbacks that they are about to be going through. I'm telling you. And they are still out here trying to plot an ending for an empress energy, queen of cups energy, high priestess energy that has done nothing to them. There's a false religious person or this could be a family that's, that uh, uh, misuses religion. So they pretend to be in the upright so that they can get their way. There are people out here that do this. They pretend to be religious, but they are false religious characters. Um, so that the public can see them in a specific light and things like that. And they're not really religious. Uh, they don't really give two hits about God, but, and this truth will be revealed about what they've been doing to a healer behind the scenes. There's something where like a group of people or someone, someone in the public eye may end up on the news being exposed for what they've been doing behind the scenes. And this is judgment by the ancestors, by the universe. If they're not careful, I think I said that before. Absolutely, someone will end up on the news. Someone will end up on the news. It's like something is not going someone's way right now. This could be the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of One. Something is not going their way. And it's pissing them off. So they, they, they have lost their mind. So they're going to take some type of drastic action to try to cause some type of chaos. It's like if I can't have my way, then it's my way or the hard way. Something like that. Okay, these these people are, oh my gosh, unhinged. Unhinged. Okay, unhinged. There's a whole family about to be weighed down because whatever connection, it, whether this is in business, whether this is in romance, it's going to come together for a lot of you out here. These divine contracts, they're meant to come together. And some of them, you know, they, they fulfilled their purpose. It's like the two soulmates were supposed to meet. They had the time that they were supposed to meet and did that and they fulfilled the purpose of that contract and then they move on. But a lot of these unions, they are meant to come together. So there's nothing anyone can do to block them from coming together. Okay. Uh, you could have a king of wands, I mean, a king of swords now wanting to have a relationship with someone out here. And I don't get like a genuine intention in you. I don't think this man has a genuine intention in you. Like this is someone being sent towards you to deceive you uh, and get you out of your independence energy and cause you a lot of heartbreak. Temper with your confidence and things like that. Block your forward movement. Limit your options. Block your manifestation uh, uh, abilities and things like that. But you're going to see right through this person and tell them exactly what it is that's on your mind. Um, because you're a queen of cups, you're extremely intuitive. So you may want to be careful. There it. There are a few queen king of swords in this scenario and there may be one good one that wants to come towards you, but be, be cautious because there is someone that's being sent towards you to cause you some type of hindrance. Okay. To cause you some type of hindrance. It's like someone is like, like someone's, someone is, oh man, 
there's this thing where it's like there's a crazy person, like mentally unstable is an understatement for this person. It's like what she's basically feeling is like I've invested all of this time. Um, I've invested all of this money into blocking this person's future. These blocking these two from coming together. And you're trying to tell me they're still coming together. It's like someone gets a thrill out of blocking other people's destiny. Like she loves the fact that she can sit back and see that she blocked that person's destiny and she's able to control them like a puppet. She blocked that person's destiny and she can control them like a puppet. This could possibly be a group of people that's been in an institution for a long time and they don't know that there's a leader within this community that's been doing rituals on them and blocking their destinies. And when they try to leave, go to other, uh, go and take other opportunities or if offers are being given to them, she goes or he goes behind the scenes to block those offers and things like this so that they are stuck in this specific institution. And this is something that's been going on for a long time. So now there could be a feminine energy that she has her eyes on and may have been telling a lot of lies so that she could get people on board to destroy this person's future. When while they're all on board with destroying this woman's future or blocking this woman's options, wanting this, wanting, wanting this woman to be unseen, wanting this woman to be rejected. A lot of them have signed contracts and things like that. Even third parties, second parties, fourth parties, if possible, all of them have signed these contracts that they are going to, one, not help this person in any way, shape, or form. Two, they're going to stay committed to the contract no matter what happens. And, you know, then they'll keep getting their money. Someone gets was being paid faithfully or someone gets paid faithfully for blocking someone's future, rejecting someone. It, it, it is ridiculous. Like bullying, like people get paid for bullying and things like that. And they think that they are doing something that has principle or they're doing it because it's going to lead to some type of ten of pentacles and i've said this on this channel multiple times and i said it again and i'll say it again the ten of pentacles that you all are trying to protect you've already lost it in the spirit realm so what's coming for you all now is nothing short of a nightmare some of you are about to be out here begging this is why i started my read giving you all that analogy about you all being in a burning house um and still staying there and having someone tell you to keep going or something like that um or maybe i thought i said it but what you all are doing this is what it is it's liking to you're standing in a building that's burning down and uh uh, uh there's smoke everywhere you're inhaling smoke you can barely breathe and there's an unhinged creature standing up there and she's telling you, he's telling you, keep going with whatever malicious uh, thing that you are doing. And that is because someone is unhinged and un, uh, uh, an imbalanced. Someone is mentally unstable. There's a woman in a community that does not like people that self-actualize. So this is why she would disturb your day. Either communicating with you a little bit too much or she'll have people coming to you a lot. So that you don't have the opportunity to self-actualize. Because then if you take the time to self-actualize, you'll see things from a different perspective and maybe start distancing yourself from whatever this is and seeing this person or this organization or this family for exactly what it is. Nothing but toxicity, nothing but setbacks, nothing but karma. Whatever you all think you're going to gain out of a situation, you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. I think you all think you're protecting some type of successful business or something. It's not successful. Someone may not even be telling you all the truth that there is no money. So maybe someone is deceiving you all that, you know, they've made promises. Like someone has made promises to you all about how you're going to get this. You're going to get that. There is no money. There's no money. I'm telling you all, there's no money. There's no money. There is no money. This is the end. Okay, like this, maybe a business was was fruitful and abundant in the past, but it's not anymore. A business is going to be closing down. And I've been trying to tell you all, but every day you wake up 
and you commit yourself to something treacherous and you think you're blocking someone's future, not knowing your, your future has already been blocked. Someone already stole you us destiny from you and you're out here committed to this person. This business is done. It's over. If this is a family, it's falling apart. This union is over. This commitment is over. It has to be like something has to be done. It has to be over. It has to be dismantled in order for something new to start for each and every one of you in this organization, in this family, whatever this is. It has to be. So whatever this is you all are fighting for, it's done. It's not going anywhere. And whoever this queen of wands is, is trying to force some type of commitment with someone. They're not giving it to you. I'm telling you, he's not giving it to you. Like it's, it's not happening. This person is unsure about you. And if you're unsure about someone that should tell you something, if you've been around someone for a long time and you're still unsure about them, that should let you know something ain't something about that person. You're that you're not getting wish fulfillment, dear. You're not getting it. Yeah. <laughs> Like I, I'm telling you, this organization, this marriage, this commitment, this contract, whatever this is, it's over. Like it's over. There's not, I don't know how else to tell you all. I don't know if there was like a department created just to either take from someone, hinder someone, uh, bully someone, whatever this is, bully people, take from people. This department is over. It's over. It's absolutely over. Like you all have been paying people behind the scenes to temper. Like you've been paying people to walk away from divine energies and things like that. Telling them, hey, we'll pay you this amount if you will what, take their uh, security away. We'll give you this amount if you'll reject them. We'll give you this amount if you'll stalk them. We'll give you this amount if you'll lie to them. Okay, promise us that you'll always be well committed to us. Nah. Someone is committed to an empress or their abundance. Someone is loyal and they are choosing to stay loyal to like a friendship or something. It don't got like someone is seeing things from a higher perspective. Someone is choosing to see things from a higher perspective. And someone be careful. There's a king of wands in here that wants to block your fulfillment. He's trying to block the truth from, be, from being seen. Like this person wants to keep going. This could be like the nutcase in a community that wants to keep going with something because this, someone is a narcissist and a thief. This is, a, this is the only way he's been able to get victory his whole life. And little does he know he's under judgment. People know the truth about him. And they have foresight of how this person receives some type of opportunity. And he's been hiding the truth and living in fear. Not telling an entire community what he's really been doing. Like, like you all are out here helping someone that's been blocking your forward movement. It don't make no sense. I'm telling you, blocking your forward movement, causing you disappointments. When someone wants to give you an offer to go behind the scenes, worth a temper with it, say, no, don't give them that commitment. They're not a real emperor. They're unqualified for their position. They're not a real emperor. They're, they're unqualified for their position. Uh, they've been working with us for 10 years, and they're, they do a S-H-I-T-T-Y job. But then it's like, if they've been like that for 10 years, why do you still have them? These other companies don't ask those questions. It's like if someone's been with you for 10 years, why are you, why are they still there? Wouldn't you let them go? There are people within an institution that feel trapped and you're going to have to let go, walk away from this institution in order to actually be happy in life. I don't know if, if it's the benefits, like you all have had some type of operation going on for a long time. And now you're, you're seeing things from, from a different perspective. Like you're waking up and someone does not want you all to wake up. Someone does not want you all to wake up. 
And here it goes. Like I'm telling you all, everybody in this situation, there's a king of pentacles in an institution about to be losing something, like losing a whole lot. And this is because they committed themselves to something they should not have. I'm telling you, just losing. And they're going to have to cut their loss and walk away. This could be someone that's married, maybe interested in getting married. I don't know what this is, honey. That someone wants to have fulfillment, so they may be leaving an institution just to have fulfillment. Because someone is trying to manipulate him into staying in this institution just so they can keep causing him stalemates. They're manipulating you, sir. There's something about your contract with these people. When it's over, let it be over. Listen to your intuition. Do not renew this, this contract with these people because you're going to trap yourself. You're going to trap yourself. You're going to trap yourself. And this is what the universe wants you to know. If you renew your contract with this institution, you're going to trap yourself. There's some type of pot. I, I'm not. No, I, I'm not going to say it. Whatever you all are experiencing or are about to experience. Oh, I'm so glad you're leaving right there. Freeing yourself from bondage. Whatever these people are experiencing, the setbacks, the karma, unemployment, everything is karma, is balance. It's like someone has been telling you all for a long time. You all get on social media to watch all these terror readers. And while you're listening to us, watching us, you're laughing. Instead of taking heed to what we are telling you, we can, we're only here to give you all the messages. What you do with the information is your business. We don't care what you do with it. As long as we obey the most high and get on here and give you the messages, our part is done. So we're not worried about you believing what we say. We're not worried about you putting two and two together. Okay? We're not worried about you doing one plus one after we've done ten plus ten for you. So you can stay there. But this king of pentacles is freeing himself and you will be successful. Look at you. Look at you, sir. Do not force yourself to stay in this nonsense. This is a whole, like, I don't know if this is like a marriage is where you are in. Free yourself. Free yourself. They're trying to force you to stay in some type of connection with someone. They're trying to manipulate you. This is a family trying to manipulate you. I don't know if someone's saying that they got pregnant by you. Look into this. Okay, if the child is yours, you do your part. Take care of the child. The child could belong to like a king of swords or a king of cups. And he will show up as a king of cups because this is someone that this woman has a lot of emotions for or something. Yeah, she has a lot of... Oh my gosh. King of swords. She, whoever, whoever she had this baby by, this is a king of swords. It's not yours. And her mother knows. They were in on it. Okay? It's a freaking king of swords. It's a king of swords, baby. Yeah, they've been, they're partners. They've probably been working you like a tuba and you don't know. But this union between you and this woman coming to an end, it has her in what? Man, it has her in some type of unhinged state of being. She's losing it. Cause she's about to lose access to all of your resources. No more options. No more giving her checks to go take care of herself. You may have been funding someone's business. And yeah, baby, you were you were giving to someone. And you didn't know you were giving to the wrong person, did you? You've been giving to the wrong person. And you thought they were your twin flame and that's coming to an end. And it, it came out the same. This relationship is over and it has her trapped in her mind because what you have all these resources available to you. She's not going to have access to them anymore. She said, how dare you want to connect with someone that's actually genuine talking about a past life soulmate. She said BS, but whoever you want to go connect with, if you all do choose to come together, it will be successful, but just know I don't know who what, what what this is with this baby, but it, it's, it may not be yours. That's what I'm going to say. This woman may have been stealing from you the whole time and you didn't even know it to give to her lover and her friends. Oh, yeah. And now she's disappointed because you're moving on. 
You're rejecting her. I'm telling you, someone has been causing you a lot of illusions and lying to you. Someone tempts you a lot. When you talk about, talk about you want to leave or you want to, you know, start over. If you bring someone up that you're interested in, she gets really pissed off. But on the surface, she'll try to maintain her composure and make it seem like something's not bothering her. It's bothering her. She's mentally and emotionally unstable. Someone is very insecure. It bothers her. Um... But what I'm hearing as well, when you say you want to leave or she thinks that you want to leave, she she draws you back in with S-E-X, some type of like teasing or something like that, right? And she lets you have options and things like that in relationships and all of that, you know, it's going to come to an end. I'm telling you, this call, this here keeps coming out the same way. This connection, whatever this is, is coming to an end. And honey, she ain't happy. She's trapped in her mind because you're refusing any offers that you give her. I mean, she gives you, I'm sorry. She's, re you're refusing her offers. Like someone is, if I don't even know how to explain this woman's mental right now. Her mental is not good. It's not healthy. And she's plotting the whole time how she can steal from you. The whole time she's plotting on how she can steal from you. She may have even stolen from you before. Yep, that's the truth. She's stolen from you before. Who have stolen a relationship. Maybe you were supposed to be with someone else and she manipulated her way into your life. And you went for it, fell for it. And the whole time she had another lover. Mr. Lover, lover. Hey, Mr. Lover, lover. Um, I heard something about you may know the person that she got with or she's been with. I don't know what this is. Like sister is available for anyone and everybody. Anybody can get it. I'm telling you, look at you leaving. Look at you leaving. <laughs> look at you leaving. Dang. This woman was confident. She was confident that she had defeated someone else until she was rejected. Oh, she was smiling behind the scenes, telling her friends how she had. Oh, yeah. Telling her friends <laughs> how she had done this. She had done that. And now she's being rejected. And it's clown down, clown down, <laughs> clown down, self-sabotage. There's something this woman does and it's habitual. She's been doing this her whole life. And this is what led to her own defeat. A sister was out here gloating that she had destroyed another person's life. And then it was like, oh yeah, she's, she was celebrating. Celebrated a little too early. I don't know why she's crying now because someone that's independent is still happy and fulfilled and having victory over a group of people that cannot disturb this woman's peace and know that someone will be coming in to give this woman, to give to this woman. Like you moving on is leading to some type of defeat for these people. And it's for you, not for someone else, for you. Because if you stay in this organization, if you stay in this relationship, whatever this is, it ain't going to be pretty for you. It ain't going to be pretty for you. This is the end of the road. And even though someone knows it's the end of the road, they may still be wanting to drag something out. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. That you're, you're, you're coming out of, some, I don't know what kind of cycle this is you were in, but it was karmic as heck. And you're moving forward to become a bet, better version of yourself. Balance yourself out, heal and things like that. I don't know if you're someone that fell from grace. You may be embarrassed because you work with these people to cause someone else an ending. And now that you know, yeah, to cause a healer an ending interfere with someone's work and now you know the truth and even though you know the truth this woman does not want you self-actualizing this is not someone that likes to self-actualize but she's having to accept some type of reality accept some type of defeat things are not going in her favor this could be someone at some point chooses to heal but that's a long road ahead we're not going to jump into the future right now <laughs> for her <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 
I'm being told to tell you, you are here to raise the vibration of the planet. So maybe you're not quite there yet, but you'll be there someday. I keep hearing about a queen, king of pentacles that's supposed to be like a shaman at some point. But you're going to be like a modern day shaman. A modern day sh shaman. Hey, this is, baby, this is, I love it when things get balanced out by the universe. Like they're, they're protecting someone's work. Like someone, there's a group still behind the scenes trying to temper with someone's work and the universe is protecting their work because someone is in their purpose. If someone was not in their purpose and they were just out here being malicious, not in their purpose, of course, right? Not following their dreams, not in the upright or something, right? Look at that. This person is in the, is in the upright. Whoever this is, they've been targeting is a healer, bit of a dreamer, right? Emotionally stable, emotionally balanced, very nurturing, very kind, and they have integrity, right? And what, look at that. The wheel of fortune, things moving in the right direction for them. And it has people burdened out here. That's because there's some type of lie that was told. People have had some type of distorted uh, mindset about someone. And now that the truth is out, balance has to be brought into the situation. And maybe it's been a long and hard road to get to this point. But this is how it was always meant to play out. Absolutely. I cannot... Something about loyalty is very big to someone. Something about loyalty. I don't know if it's you, the uh, king of pentacles. There's something about loyalty. Something about loyalty. Okay. Oh. So um, for you, the king of pentacles, I don't know. Like... <laughs> I'm just going to simplify it. Whatever troubles and things like that that are going on, you will be able to overcome them. Be wary of the people you make business deals with, which I've mentioned in here. You are in some type of contract or I don't know what it is you do for work, but you need to look into the contracts that you are signing. And in new contracts, read that sucker 10,000 times before you decide to move forward or not. Or get a lawyer to read it. Because there's something about your business dealings or maybe you need to pull back from certain things that you are doing business-wise. I don't know if you're someone that's like a gluttonous person. You like overindulge. Like if you invest in something, you just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it even when you're told not to. Like I don't like I, I'm getting like a gambler. Like you do some type of gambling and you need to hold back from that. Some type of gambling you do, you need to hold back from it. Like, like if you're going to put into something, do things in moderation is what I'm being told to tell you. Don't overdo stuff. So if you gamble, you need to fall back from that. That's an addition. Um, but there's something about your mindset when it comes to do, when it comes to businesses, like every thing, all money is not good money and all money is not worth your time. But you, every dollar you see, you want it. Uh-huh. Every dollar you see, you want it. And it, it, it may not be a good thing for you. So anyway, it said, yeah, you won't, you won't believe what this is, the butterfly. Okay. It says, be careful of excess frivolity. You live in excess. You live in access. You overindulge. Exactly what I was saying. Dang. Once you can stop living in access, you should be okay. That's going to be part of your healing. Dang. My goodness. Frivolity. I don't think I've ever heard that word, but I'm glad it came out today. You're living in access with the type of business uh, 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 dealings that you partake in. That you overdo things. You don't know when to stop. You just keep going and going and going. Dang. Yeah. Your mental, there's something about your mindset. And you, you need to learn how to be genuine with the people that you interact with, whether it be loved ones or friends. There's something where it's like everything is about money for you. 
Like you want to have a family, but you're you're so money focused. It's ridiculous. Like this, this is your true desire is to have a family, but you overindulge in other aspects of your life and neglect this part. So if you have like a wife, you may want to spend more time with them. I don't know what this is. Maybe you could be going through a divorce right now. I don't know what this is. But if you end up in a family, if you end up having the family you've always wanted, you may want to commit a lot more time to them. I'm getting like a mature man, like maybe in his late 40s, early 50s, something like that. You may want to commit yourself to your family. Like commit yourself to your family, like have that family life so you can know what it's like to actually be fulfilled in life. Because you're not fulfilled. You have all the money in the world, but you're not fulfilled. You're not fulfilled. You're afraid of poverty, but you, the honey. Oh, Lord. So you, listen, sir. I don't know if you're watching someone and you think highly of them. Maybe there's someone at your work area, a feminine energy that you like or something like that. Or maybe this is someone from a distance that you may be fond of. You two may be from like different sides of the tracks or something like that is what I'm getting as well. And maybe this is part of the reason why people have been trying to block you two from connecting and trying to force you to stay with a Jizzy Bell energy still that's stealing from you. There's some, there's gonna there's some type of humbling experience you're gonna have to go through, so that you can understand that person. I don't think someone's light bothers your demons. I think it's that there's some type of misconception, some type of misunderstanding you have about someone. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.